One of the things that I do is I work in peace education. What do you imagine peace education is? <laughs> education about peace. So yes, it's about people searching for peace in the midst of conflict. So we look at current and recent conflicts around the world and we try to think about what it takes to find a workable peace. Can we get rid of conflict? Definitely not. But we can transform conflict into something really positive. And we can transform conflict into an opportunity for more dialogue and more discussion and more inquiry about the things that matter to us and, so, and the connection that comes from it. And what we do is we also think about the fact that peace begins and belongs to us. So how can we make ourselves more personally peaceful? The choices that we make as buyers, as consumers, the things that we put into our body to nourish it or to poison. Not you guys though, right? Right. right. <laughs> and we also, um, we learn techniques of meditation or prayer of service that you perform or that you would like to perform in your school, community, families. And I want to take some of that information back to educators. But can I get some raised hands? How do you folks serve? I know you do, and you'd be surprised the things that constitute service. Yes. Babysit. You babysit. You help to raise, care about them, and are going to build supports around them, and who want to see them succeed. So what is some other way that you serve? Yes. You help your kupuna, your elderly. You uh, show them care and respect. You listen to their stories. You learn. I uh, donate canned food to my local uh, church, uh, Food for the Poor Drive. Absolutely. You can help mitigate the worst effects of poverty. You can give food. You can organize events that assist and provide those who have less. I was just telling the, um, um, the younger kids about how I have two daughters, four and eight, and I tell you, if you say to them, um, you need to throw away that box which you've been using to house your pet giraffe and elephant, you know, they'll freak out like, no, don't throw away the box. But I tell them because they have a hard time you know, getting rid of stuff. I recommend that you spend some time, investigate the possibilities, go to Malama Mauna Lua, and you can do the digging up of invasive species, or Ho'olu Aina, where you can go to community days, you and your families, your schools, your friends, um, several times a month to plant, to harvest, and to learn. You can go and uh, check out the fish ponds, Heia and Kaneohe fish ponds, and learn about ancient methods for fishing that are non-destructive. You learn culture, but you also help by building a rock wall. And